family, it is now time to go on the line. Uh, matter of fact, this brother in studio with us today here on the Cool Jazz Countdown. I have known him for quite a while. Nonetheless, this is his very first time on the show out of Washington, D.C., a brother who's been tickling our ears for a very long time. Welcome. Thank you. Robert E. Person. How you doing, brother? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. My pleasure, man. Thank yeah. You. Uh, congrats to you. Robert is celebrating the release of his latest compact disc. It is called Classic Covers. It is a EP that is available in stores all over the land. CD doing very well for you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. So what kind of labor of love was this for you to do classic covers? Wow, th I think this was an easy one. Okay. Um, I, this is my fifth album mm -hmm. and my first live one. And it was easy because uh, it's uh, songs that I love, um, handpicked um, from the American Songbook. Um, I recorded it live at uh, Studio 51 in Dunkirk, Maryland. Okay. And Alan Johnson was my producer. I've been working with Alan for, for quite a while now. Yes, so it was just, it was, it was, it was, it was really easy. Um, of course, there was a lot of prep work, but it was an easy uh, recording. Uh, easy recording. It was an easy recording. Now, I would say that the part that probably was not easy for you mm -hmm was picking the five songs on the CP because I know most artists struggle when putting together a full yeah. CD list oh, yes. and being very particular yes. in what they put on and so yes. with the EP you have even less so you want to make sure that everything right, right. is in the right well, place. Well I did a, a concert at Blues Alley and a good friend of mine was the MC. Okay. And um, that was recorded. I was that MC by the way. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> that, um, that concert was recorded um, but it wasn't recorded well. Mm. And so that helped with the ease in picking the songs because the songs on the EP are the songs I performed in that concert. Right. So this was my opportunity to do a live recording in the safe environment of the studio. So it was live in studio. <laughs> <laughs> it was the safe live. The safe live. When, safe when you live. had control of things. Yeah, control of all the elements. Um, the sound, of course, um, outside elements. And I had a very, uh, very small studio audience. Mm. So it was, everything was very controlled. It was a really good experience for me. So I guess that may, that may <laughs> prepare me for the next uh, live recording, which may be in a venue one day. Well, you know, I'm always sharing with my listeners that, or encouraging them mm -hmm. uh, even still, that the best way to experience music is in a live oh, setting. Because, absolutely. you know, in a live setting, you get so much more from an artist than you do on their regular yeah, CD, yeah. you know. Uh, all their nuances, you know, they get to do a, a couple of more runs, mm -hmm. if you will, you know. And then the band can stretch out in a way exactly. that they're mostly limited to mm -hmm. in, a, in a regular studio recording. Mm -hmm. Exactly. My favorite part of this EP is uh, the, the responses from the audience as well as the band. Okay. You know, oh, you know, you get get that, all that that give and take, that give and take yeah. in the in the in the in the atmosphere in the, in the moment that won't happen in the studio environment. Mm. Yeah, so that's, that was one of the, one of the things I really liked about the uh, the pro that project was just hearing and feeling the live uh, element. Family, if you were just joining us in studio today is Robert E. Person. We are talking about his brand new album. His fifth, in fact, it is called Classic Covers. One thing I love about this album, Robert, is that you are marrying jazz and classical at the same time with the strings there. Yes. Whose idea was this? Um, I guess I can say mine. It was okay. my idea. You, you um, started to say Alan. I started to say Alan. Okay. Um, it was my idea because I wanted to do something different in that concert that I was referring to. Mm. Um, I always have the safety of background vocals. Uh, uh, and what I mean by safety is, um, as a soloist, sometimes you look for places to hide. And, um, and sometimes my insecurity um, has allowed me. Wait a minute, if you a will. vocalist with insecurity? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> has allowed me to hide behind the background vocals. Okay. Um, so, this particular concert, the background vocals were the strings. Uh, so, uh, it, it was a, a, a wonderful concept, but it also made me a little more 
vulnerable or exposed, if you will. Okay. So that was the idea of why we uh, got the strings to, um, to be a part of the project. And just, it just adds another element, you know, just kind of raises the bar. Most definitely. Yeah. You know, I, I'm a big lover of strings, mm -hmm. and I've been saying for years that I'm going to do something with strings, hopefully in the first quarter of Amen. 2019. Amen. I'll be able to put that out there, but strings just add a whole new element, yeah. layer. Yeah. It's nothing they, like it. They allow your mind to fully embrace mm -hmm. and uh, travel exactly. with the music, exactly. if yeah. you will. Yeah. It, paint, it paints a picture. A beautiful yeah. picture, yeah. 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 And this wasn't your first time doing work with strings no. either. No, it wasn't the first time. Yeah. Yeah, but I just, it was, it's really great. And you know, to piggyback on what you just said, live music, period, is, is uh, it raises the bar, it's a whole nother element of, of musicianship when you have uh, live piano, live bass, live drums, in addition to a string quartet. Right. The, whole, the whole live element just raises the bar musically. Most definitely. In studio today, Robert E. Person, he has a brand new CD called Classic Covers. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that coming up in the second half yeah. of the program right here yeah. on The Cool. Jazz Countdown. Just give the world love. Family, we are in studio today with our very special guest, Washington, D.C. native Robert E. Person. Thank yes, you again sir. for hanging out here on the Cool Thank Jazz you. Countdown, my brother. Thank you, my pleasure. Washington, D.C. native. Yes, sir. Morehouse College native. Yes. And UDC as well. And UDC. Traveling man. Traveling man. <laughs> <laughs> I did the Black College tour. <laughs> and so what... I did. What would, and this is probably an unfair question, but what would you say prepared you more for your musical journey, being at Morehouse or at UDC? I would say a little bit of both. Morehouse actually set it up. Okay. Um, I was a communications major at Morehouse, ah. and I had a, um, a career at, a real career counselor, okay. me, a career counselor who said you should pursue your dream, you should pursue what you want to do. Don't do what your mom and daddy told you to do. Mm. And I was like, oh, yeah. and that's what made me change my major to music. Wow. And. Um, Something happened here and there and didn't do what I was supposed to do in college. <laughs> My mother said, bring your tail home. <laughs> Heard that Not before. tail. She said something <laughs> No. <laughs> so anyway, I ended up coming um, to UDC and I majored in music at UDC. And that's where I met Alan Johnson. Okay. And the rest is history. Kenneth Lewis um, yes. at UDC. And UDC just catapulted my... Um, I want to say my, my seriousness in music. I've always been a music lover. I've always sung, but mm -hmm. it wasn't until I got to UDC where I took music seriously. And so you, you mentioned two names there. We talked a little bit about Alan before, but how important and uh, how... I want to use a different word outside of important, but I guess important is really what sums mm -hmm. it up. How important has Alan been to your growth as an artist, wow. as as a vessel, as someone who has grown in this music business? Well, this right here is a, a direct reflection. This jazz period is a direct reflection of my relationship with Alan and how important it is that his impact has been on my life because I was just a church boy, just a gospel singer. Mm -hmm. um, now, I've always been a music lover okay. of all music. Right. And then going to UDC, you know, you have to study classical. I was able to study jazz. We have a jazz program at UDC. Mm -hmm. And UDC is one of the few schools that actually has a gospel music program. Oh, wow. So you have classical, gospel, and jazz in the same school. That's incredible. So, uh, but his influence has really um, catapulted me into this whole jazz arena because, like I said, I was just a church boy, just a choir boy, uh, singing gospel music. But I always had a love for jazz and classical and R&B as well. And, you know, we've known you, Robert, to be the, uh, the Duke of Gospel Ballad <laughs> I like that. <laughs> we see. <laughs> the Duke of Gospel. Yes, okay. the okay. Duke of Gospel Ballad as you know, your, your sound has been steeped on the inspirational side. Yes. But 
you know, over the years, you've kind of tiptoed into the foray exactly. of jazz, you know, mm-hmm. doing uh, tunes like uh, Come Sunday mm-hmm. and uh, Great Is Thy Faithfulness. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. one of my favorites right there. Um, wh- what is the difference for you in doing gospel and inspirational and then stretching out and doing jazz? <sighs> I have to say this carefully. I'm a little freer in jazz. How so? Um, there's, so, this is transparent. <laughs> um, I've always wanted to sing, and I've always wanted to sing good music. Mm-hmm. I didn't want the responsibility of proclaiming the gospel. Ah. Um, I will say I was obedient and I accepted the call. Okay. But I didn't want the responsibility. I just wanted to, I just wanted to you know, the flesh, I just wanted to sing. And my, and my, I wanted to sing, good, my, my, my goal was to present good music. Right. I didn't really want to do gospel. Even though that's, that's who I am, it's, I, was, I was raised in church, um, it's pretty much all I know. I just didn't want the responsibility. But uh, jazz has freed me um, artistically. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes I, 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 I can be my biggest critic and be you know, too uptight. But uh, the jazz, uh, the genre of jazz has kind of freed me artistically to be able to express um, love, to be express, uh, you know, feelings and uh, sorrow and happiness and all the, uh, the different feelings that we have. And I can express it freer in jazz than I could in gospel. Most definitely. And, you know, it's it's quite often that I leave church on a Sunday, hop into the car, mm-hmm. and I'm hearing Robert E. Person wow. uh, on the radio, whether it's a local radio station, whether it's Sirius XM, uh, on the gospel side, but now stretching out into the jazz side, how is the CD being received nationally? Oh, very well. Thank you to all of uh, the stations who are playing uh, classic covers. I really appreciate the love. Um, from coast to coast, I can honestly say um, classic covers has been embraced. A lot of college jazz stations, as you know, mm-hmm. are playing uh, classic covers, and I just really appreciate the love. Um, I've had national airplay before, but uh, for my first time out in jazz, this is really you know a big deal for me, and I really appreciate it. Congratulations, my brother. Thank you so much. In the studio, Robert E. Person, the CD is Classic Covers. And Robert, you're showcasing not just a different side of you uh, doing more jazz on here, but then you stretch it even further going to uh, to film and then to musical as well. Because, you know, one of the tunes he does is... Uh, I was about my to say great is my faithfulness. Yes, my favorite thing. My favorite thing, Sound of Music. Yes, from the Sound yeah. of Music, but then also on the musical side from uh, the Broadway musical. Uh, Civil, S- Civil War. Civil War. Sarah. You do the tune, Sarah. Yeah. Give folks a little backstory on Sarah. So Sarah, so I'm, I'm a lover of, uh, like I said earlier, of, of music. And I um, went to a musical called Freedom Song mm. at Ford's Theater. In Freedom Song is based on the music from the musical Civil War. Mm. And, you know, there's always one song in a movie or in a play or in a you know, film or TV that just, you know, yeah. Like, who, what is that? It grabs you. And so that was the song. And I was like, who, you know, I'm, I'm play, flipping through my program. Who, who, was, who was the singer? Yeah. Because the singer was phenomenal. And then I, I um, researched the song itself. And then, as you know, I lost my, my dad in 2014. And so my mother and I uh, were listening to the song and it really connected with my mom. Yeah. And I said, hmm, I should record this. <laughs> and one of the things I love about being an independent artist is being able to do what I want to do. Right, being in and full I wanted, control. And I wanted to record Sarah. And of course, I got the permission to do so. Uh, but it's just a wonderful song about a uh, Union soldier in the, in the Civil War mm. who uh, wrote a love letter home to his wife. Beautiful letter. And she received the letter a week after he died. Of course, yeah. this, the, you know, back in the days of Pony Express. Yeah, yeah. So the letter, by the time she received the letter, he had already passed. But the, the song talks about um, her moving on with life in, you know, in, in his death. And we've all um, experienced love and loss. 
And so that's why I was able to connect with the song and my mother connected with the song. And once my mom connected with the song, I said, oh yeah, I gotta record this. And tribute it's just a to beautiful Ruby. love story yeah. and a beautiful love song. Most definitely. Family, you gotta check it out. The CD is called Classic Covers. It is the new EP from Robert E. Person. Five tunes on here, most definitely worth your ears. Robert, always a pleasure to talk to you, my, my brother. Thank you. And uh, thank you for coming past thank the Cool Jazz so Countdown today. Thank you. thank you, thank you. Robert E. Person right here on the Cool Jazz Countdown.